Big Tribe. Greetings from Tulum. Today we have a very special topic, enlightened sex. And my new understanding or my new enlightened insights about, about making love. So enlightened sex, and that is very important to understand, starts with yourself. It starts with your willingness, your readiness to embark on a spiritual journey. And always when you choose a spiritual journey, spiritual practice, sadhana, it has to be reflected in your day-to-day -day life. And because sex and making love is such a core activity in most people's life, of course we want to bring the, the, the principles and the values and the spiritual way as well to, to how we make love. So the moment you are about to go deeper on the spiritual journey, you can do this for yourself, cultivating that superpowers, awakening your kundalini energies, awakening those enlightened states of being, of higher awareness and higher vibration. You can do this in wonderful ways by yourself. But if you have a partner, or you find someone who is on the same path towards that enlightened way of being, then how wonderful, how great to share the way we may love in this enlightened way. But I think it is very important to, to find a partner, a person, has the same clear intention because if you want to make love or have sex in the more primal way where it's a lot about penetration and seeking an orgasm and having pleasure and this rush of energy and excitement you know these really primal forces when you're looking for that and the other is looking for the enlightened way of sex you will have a hard time playing and really connecting because those are so opposite it's like someone is gonna want to go scuba diving and the other is wanna go skiing in the mountains weird stupid example but you know get the point you, you're not just matching at all so fine you have to have a partner who has as well the same longing the same yearning for for experiencing and investigating and exploring because it's a lot about exploring this enlightened way of sex and I was so gifted and so blessed to meet a goddess here in Chilo which which opened my eyes which helped me to understand and to experience more deeply what this enlightened way is all about I I'm now in my third week of semen retention and I spoke about, spoke, spoke about that, how powerful this technique is to, to generate and multiply sexual energy and use it for higher states of awareness and of higher states of being. Being not so materialized but vibrating very very high, with great emotions, with great insights, with great clarity, with great passion, with lots of love, and most important, with a high and deep state of presence. Because that's what, what enlightened sex is all about. First, when you have this partner, you meet from a place of presence. Presence, really see this namaste presence where you are connecting to the source to the core of the being and you can do this meditating together you know, touching this healing touch breathing together kundalini breath work dancing together there are many ways where you can cultivate these deeper states of presence. 
And enlightened sex is all about creating that strong frame of presence and awareness and deep connection. And then you can, you know, play around in so many ways. And with this goddess, it was so, so, so easy because her presence was so, so strong. Her energy field was so established that once you enter it, you're here, you know? And the old programs, they have less chances to take over immediately because she could hold the frame. And I, I, knew, I know about tantric sex since, since many years and I have this willingness and this wish to explore that with all, the, all my partners. But usually what happened, you have this great intention, you read some theory about it and then you apply it. But the moment you go for penetration and, you know, really joining, there is an old program taking over, a very primal and anim animalistic approach. This, you know, when you suddenly you feel like you want this girl so badly, you want to slay her, you want to rip the clothes apart, apart. You have, you are really, you know, somehow chasing the pleasure. You're playing with different positions, there is a certain aggression, a certain, um, yeah, like this real, this sex force taking over and, and this dynamic is so strong and it's getting hotter, faster, quicker, more intense from moment to moment till the whole thing, you know, explodes in a wonderful orgasm and then you fall asleep because the job is done, right? You've done, you done what nature is designed to do, reproduct. And this is a strong program. We are designed to, to follow that program. And it's a lot about this, this root chakra. And, and in enlightened sex, we don't want to go this trail way. But what usually happened in my, in my previous approaches is the moment I, I went for that penetration, it just takes over, the program runs, and you just go down the trail. Even I've been in semen retention, you can then, you know, always pause, breathe, slow down, continue penetration, continue and chasing, it's getting more to the peak, slow down. So this is one way of dealing with it. And if your partner is ready, she or he will support that rhythm, that kind of flow. But with that goddess I met, we, we never went to even penetration. So now a lot of people might think now, okay, what a boring thing. I mean, enlightened sex without penetration? Come on, what are you talking about? Where is the fun? And, and yes, I agree. There is no, you know, seeking, chasing. There is not this excitement, which is so overwhelming. There is not this deep or hot kind of pleasure which is so addictive. You don't have that. And in that moment with that goddess, it was not even necessary. Because the whole intention and the frame was different. It was about this enlightened divine presence, about the more subtle way of being connected. It was all about keeping the upper chakras open, expanding. It was, it was about this deep presence. It was all about healing touches. You know, touching can be so healing. And from this more subtle way of being, being together, 
a tremendous amount of joy, aliveness, and love was arising. And this was the magic and the beauty which was so, so, so deeply nourishing. So consciously we were like removing penetration, removing orgasm for a moment so we can experience the more subtle and more divine way of making love. Touching, kissing, dancing, playing, hugging, pressing, breathing, everything okay, everything allowed, chanting on together, vibrating together. It's a beautiful, spontaneous, spiritual practice in the frame of presence. And, and it, that, that was what I call now the enlightened way of sex. I have the feeling bringing in on a certain point, bringing in penetration and maybe bringing in orgasm again. Yeah, why not? So beautiful. But my feeling is if you are not ready to keep the frame of strong presence and keep the upper chakras really illuminated, what happens is that the energy goes down and you're just about to fuck and about to spread and do the thing, the strong program you're imprinted. So, I repeat myself, for a certain moment, removing orgasm, penetration, doing semen retention and keeping the intention on on the upper chakras doing the sadhana together can be very very powerful and to finish the whole thing tantric sex or this enlightened way of sex i see it as a journey something that is involving something that with a partner you can explore and there are just some guidelines some principles you may be playing with that can help to stay in alignment and to stay really in this path of nourishing awakening. With this I shared everything for now and I say thank you to you, I feel the connection, I hope you're doing great, I love you, all those wonderful beings, thank you, thank you, thank you and see you next time. Namaste.